This is the bolt stress tab and uh, here we're going to evaluate exactly what's happening to our bolt. Uh, now I think we're all probably aware that there'll be some stress in the bolt thread due to the bolt preload plus the proportion of the applied load that it's taking. So that's what's calculated here which is expressed as a stress and also as a percentage of yield. So that's taking up most of the uh, available um, uh, stress at the moment. But uh, in this particular example we've also got a thermal stress. So if we just quickly go back to our thermal stress. This is arising because the bolt temperature and the clamp material temperature have a differential and it's uh, resulting in uh, an 8.3 kilonewton uh, uh, increase in bolt tension which is expressed here uh, in this stress. Uh, we've also got um, uh, a stress resulting from uh, the parallelism of the bolted surfaces which is actually quite neatly explained in this sketch below because this is where this surface is not parallel to this surface so as the bolts tightened it's forcing the bolt to bend and in fact that's a very small uh, angle as I think you'd accept but it's generating quite a high stress and it's something that uh, can uh, cause uh, problems with bolts so it's something to be aware of there but of course most of the time that will probably be zero uh, so if we pop that to zero then that obviously reduces the stress. So the total stress then is, um, uh, the total axial stress is the addition of all these terms which gives us 84%. But there's another important element of stress that we need to consider uh, when we're thinking about bolts and that is if we've used a, uh, a torque tightening method then there's also some torsional shear stresses in the bolt and in fact uh, this is the um, uh, torque tightening uh, that we've used in this particular example and it's given rise to quite a high shear stress. In fact that's almost 54% of the available uh, shear stress and normally what we have to do uh, to assess both the axial stress and the shear stress terms is we would do something like uh, calculate an equivalent stress. In this case I've used uh, the principal stress, the maximum principal stress, uh, which is just below yield. Now if I pop this uh, lack of parallelism back in, uh, I think you can see what happens there. We've actually gone over the 100% so it means there's a joint failure. The joint failure is very likely to occur here at the transition between the shank of the bolt and the threaded part of the bolt because that's where the combination of axial load and shear stress has uh, the most damaging effect and that's quite likely to be the point at which the bolt breaks.